Where is he? He's still in hyperspace. Where will he exit? Calculating now. Quadrant 17, section 005, area 51. A planet called Earth. I want an expert on this planet in here now. What is that? Water. Most of the planet is covered in it. He won't survive in water. His molecular density is too great. Ah. No. Of course. How much time do we have? We have projected his landing at 3 hours, 42 minutes. Oh, we have to gas the planet. Hold it! Hold everything! Earth is a protected wildlife reserve? Yeah, we've been using it to rebuild the mosquito population, which, need I remind you, is an endangered species. Am I to assume you are the expert? Oh, I don't know about the expert. <laughs> Agent Plakely at your service. Can we not simply destroy the island? No! Crazy head? The mosquitoes' food of choice, primitive humanoid life forms have colonies all over that planet. Are they intelligent? No, but they're very delicate. In fact, every time an asteroid strikes their planet, they have to begin life all over. It's fascinating, isn't it? With this, they've been able to study. What if our military forces just landed there? Well, that'd be a bad idea! These are extremely simple creatures, miss. Landing there would create mass mayhem and planet-wide panic. A quiet capture would require an understanding of 626 that we do not possess. Who, then, Mr. Pleatley, would you send for his extraction? Does he have a brother? Close grandmother, perhaps? Friendly cousin? Neighbor with a beard? I'm sure this comes as no surprise to you. I designed this creature for it to be unstoppable. Which is precisely why you must now bring him back. What, me? And to reward you, we are willing to trade your freedom for his capture. <sighs> 626 will not come easily. Maybe a direct hit from Plasma Cannon might stun him long enough to... Plasma stun. Cannon granted. Do we have a bargain, Dr. Jumba? <clears throat> but, but, but it's a delicate planet! Who's gonna control him? You will. Very good, Your Highness. I... I didn't quite... Uh, you're not joking! So, tell me, my little one-eyed one, on what poor, pitiful, defenseless planet has my monstrosity been unleashed?